Assalamu alaikum viewers. BRICS was established as a coalition to promote the interests of emerging economies and a counterbalance to the western dominated institutions like the International Monetary Fund IMF and also the World Bank. The US as a leading global power and a major player in those very western institutions would have little interest in joining a group that aims to reduce the dominance of western economies. That's, that's the first fact. On the other hand, where the game is started like there is also a huge number of credit cards users and also the interest rate of those cards too high. Americans total credit card balance is over 1.142 trillion in the second quarter of 2024. According to the latest consumer debit data from the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, that's up from 1.115 trillion in the first quarter of 2024 and is the highest balance since the New York Federation began tracking 1999. Credit card balance have risen by 300 72 billion dollars since the first quarter of 2021. This record balances the light year above the 478 billion dollars seen more than 20 years ago in the first quarter of 1999 and it will go on by the help of riba. Riba is an Arabic word to increase charges for borrowing money. In Quran, the verse clearly said by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah ar rom at verse 39, whatever you give in riba to increase the wealth of people will not increase the sight of Allah. But whatever you give in charity, desiring the pleasure of Almighty Allah, it is the one will get manifold, I mean rewarded. Basically, riba is prohibited in Islam. Riba is for the people based offer those having riches but can't be able to give the effort or utilize it to make something good rather than just a earthly materials remain in the same, no changes for Allah's point of view. But Allah cares for those who born poor, rather searching for the scope to do something while the society have nothing to offer for them. Likely, as a result, if a person capable of producing goods, rather they don't have the chance or scope to prove it, then they will not have the contributions much in the society, rather they will just hang and work a liability for the country. Allah clearly encourages us to do work and produce and do effective trades for the society rather being a rebiter yourself. It will downgrade you all and what is happening in USA right now. Riba is forbidden in Islam because it leads to exploitation, economic injustice and undermining the principles of the mutual corporation and charity. Islam encourages ethical risk sharing, financial expertise and prohibits transactions that benefits one party at the expenses of another. On the other hand, when central bank increases the money supply by printing over money through policies like quantity easing, it can lead to money more chasing the same amount of goods and service, driving up the price as a huge amount of money already been spread out of dollars in the most of the used currency of the world. As of the topmost international currency, there have to have more supplies of the liquid cash. If businesses and consumers will then have fun, good luck and peace in the future, they may act in the way that creates inflation now. Workers might demand higher wages and businesses may increase price primitively both of which contributes to inflation. As of 2024, credit card interest rate in the US remain high, largely influenced by the recent Federal Reserve decisions. The average APR for all credit card accounts is around 21.76%. The accounts that carry a balance seeing an average interest rate of 23.37%. This figure is significantly as nearly half of the American credit card holders carry a balance that are subject to those higher rates. Rewards and subprime credit cards tend to have a slightly higher APRs, ranging from 20.91% to 28.15%. Meanwhile, APRs for all current credit cards accounts rose 21.76% in the third quarter of 2024, up from 21.51% in the second quarter for 2024. Both of these averages are recorded highs. If the uses of dollar decreasing day by day worldwide, then the inflation rate may increase a lot in future days. As there is BRICS, likely there are not much options left for them either suffer solely or make a history to join the BRICS for their own good. Though several BRICS nations, particularly China, Russia, have complex, often adversarial relationship with the United States, the US has imposed sanctions on Russia and is engaged in the strategy competition with China. Making a partnership within BRICS unlikely, the US has a highly developed market-driven economy
economy while BRICS member have varying economy structures so many of which are still emerging and focus on different development priorities and that's why the BRICS member may not one thing the USA in the member ban another end of the BRICS has shown interest in expanding its membership recently inviting countries like Argentina Egypt and Saudi Arab however those efforts focus on the emerging or developing economies not establishing a superpower like USA expanding the group to include a dominant global partner like USA would likely undermine BRICS original purpose as a matter of fact that USA economy will face a huge change within couple of years and if they don't want to balance them all there will be a disaster in near future but on the other hand if they want to join they have to sacrifice a lot in the geologic in the geolocation perspective where america follow their own role model but the world is moving and the people of the world should first look after humanity rather being living a high class row of living standards that's all from today guys hope you all enjoy if you new don't forget to subscribe see you all soon with another big video